Here we're going to look at the first ionisation energies across a period. Um, I've chosen period three, which are the elements sodium to argon, but the pattern that we'll see in this graph would be applicable for any period going across the periodic table. So we're going to have a look at the ionisation energies of each of the elements in period three. So I'm going to start off with sodium. And the first thing we're going to do is write down the electronic structure of sodium. And we've always got to ask ourselves this question is where is the electron being removed from? We're looking at first ionisation energy, so it's just the energy required to remove this one 3s electron. And again, this graph isn't necessarily going to be to scale, but the general pattern of the graph will be correct. So I'm going to just say that it requires this much energy. Now let's see how much energy will be required to remove the electron from magnesium. So magnesium's electronic structure is as follows. And we can see the energy of the electron is exactly the same. It's been removed from the same energy 3s sublevel. So the shielding will be constant. The electron uh, is of the same energy. So what is different between sodium and magnesium? Well, the difference is, is that magnesium has got 12 protons Sodium has only got 11 protons. And as such, it's going to require more energy to remove the electron in magnesium. So it's going to have a higher first ionization energy. Both of them electrons are removed from the 3s sublevel, but magnesium's got a bigger nuclear charge. It's going to hold on to that electron more strongly. Therefore, it's going to require more energy to remove it. Let's now have a look at aluminium. Aluminium is 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, and now 3p1. So we can see now that the electron in aluminium is removed from a higher energy 3p sublevel. Because the electron removed is of a higher energy, on average it is further away from the nucleus, it's going to require less energy to remove it compared to that of magnesium and actually it's around there it's higher than sodium because it's got two more protons but it's lower than magnesium's okay so when you're looking at the ionization energy of aluminium it should be higher than sodium's but lower than magnesium's it's lower than magnesium's because the electron in aluminium is removed from a higher energy 3p sublevel compared to the 3s sublevel in magnesium let's have, have a look at silicon and i'm just going to write the shorthand so it's neon 3s2 3p2 we can see that the electron in silicon is removed from the same energy sublevel as the electron in aluminium but Silicon's got a bigger nuclear charge. So it's going to be there. Let's have a look at phosphorus. Phosphorus is also neon. Remember that neon, by the way, guys, neon is simply just this here. So it's neon, 3s2, 3p3. And again, the electron in phosphorus is being removed is being removed from the same energy sublevel as silicon. But phosphorus has got a bigger nuclear charge. So phosphorus we're gonna say is about oops is about there. Now let's have a look at sulfur, which is neon 3s2. 3p4. The electron in sulfur has been removed from a 4p sublevel. Now you may think that this is again going to require more energy because it's in the same energy sublevel as phosphorus. However, it isn't. It's a little bit lower, just a little bit lower. And sulfur's is about here. So why is that? The reason being is that the electron removed in sulfur, and we can draw this, the electron removed in sulfur 
is from an orbital with a pair of electrons. Whereas the electron removed in phosphorus is removed from an orbital, which has got an unpaired electron. So if this is phosphorus, the electron being removed here is from an orbital with only one electron. In sulfur's case, the electrons are removed from an orbital with two electrons. And the mutual repulsion of these two electrons makes it easier to remove one of them. So you get a slight dip. Then we've got chlorine, which is neon 3s2, 3p5. Well, this is also been removed from an orbital with two electrons. So you're just going to get an increase. And argon is again neon 3s2, 3p6. Again, this has been removed from an, a 3p sublevel, a 3p orbital with a pair of electrons. So this is going to be, again, higher. Why is it higher? Because we've got an increase in nuclear charge. So I'm just going to draw the, um, some lines between these points. And this is my general shape of this graph. Now, in an exam, what you've got to do is the following. You've got to be able to explain, firstly, the general trend. And the general trend is that it's increasing. It's generally increasing across a period. So my general trend, and this is a very common exam question. The general trend is first ionization energy increases across a period. Okay, in this case, period three. That would get you one mark. You are stating the trend. Why is that? And simply, you need to remember these two polar points. Why? Because as you go across the period, nuclear charge increases. And the second one is that shielding is almost constant it's not exactly constant but it's almost constant why because the electrons in each case be removed from the third principal energy level i'll just fill these in as 3p okay so that's my general trend if asked in an exam usually worth three marks first one is stating the trend increases across a period the second mark is for saying nuclear charge increases. Third mark, shielding is almost constant. Why shielding almost constant? Because all the electrons will be removed from the same principal energy level. That is, if you have a look at the highlighted bits in yellow, they're all being removed from the third principal energy level. There are deviations from this general trend. So we have a look at the deviations. And the deviation occurs at group three. And in period three's case is aluminium. But you need to be aware that it would be any group three element would deviate from this trend. So if you're talking about period two, it would be boron. So you've got a deviation from this general trend. Deviation one. The deviation at group three. And you need to explain it in this way. Aluminium has a lower first ionization energy than magnesium and this is where you've got to get the quality of language good correct as the electron in aluminium is removed from a higher energy 3 P sub level and that's compared with the 3s in magnesium 
So that's how you've got to explain the deviation at group three. Aluminium has a lower first ionization energy than magnesium as the electron in aluminium is removed from a higher energy 3p sublevel compared to the 3s in magnesium. You've now got a deviation again at group six, and again, it would be any group six element, and in this case, it's sulfur. And you've got to explain why has sulfur deviating from this general trend. You can see that sulfur is deviating from the general trend. So you need to explain why sulfur deviates from the general trend. So sulfur has a lower first ionization energy than phosphorus. as the electron removed in sulfur is from a 3p sublevel with a pair of electrons. Now, I do stress that you have to say 3p sublevel. You can't just say from a sublevel. It has to state from a 3p sublevel with a pair of electrons. Okay? So you can't just say um, the sulfur is a lower first ionization energy than phosphorus as the electrons are removed from a sublevel with a pair of electrons. You have to state from a 3p sublevel with a pair of electrons. You then say mutual repulsion makes it easier to remove one of them. These two electrons here do not really want to be anywhere near each other. So it's much easier to remove one which is paired up compared to one which is on its own. So you can see here we get our increases between mag sodium and magnesium, our increases here and our increases here can all be explained by the general trend. We get an increase here, an increase here, an increase here because nuclear charge is increasing, shield is almost constant. The deviations are at group three. And again, aluminium's got a lower first ionization energy. It's deviating from the trend because... The electron is now being removed from a higher energy 3p sublevel. This is the evidence for sublevels. You also need to know the deviation at group 6, which in period 3's case is sulfur, because the electron in sulfur is removed from a 3p orbital with a pair of electrons. Mutual repulsion makes it easy to remove one of them. Okay? So that is how you would explain first ionization energies across a period.